What is up guys? It's Katie here and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be filming a very, very exciting video. The idea kind of hit me this morning. Um, I was just thinking of what videos to do. I've never seen an equestrian DIYs tested by like horse channels. So I decided to be the first one to try it out and see how it worked. Lately, there's been lots of trends coming around these things called pony donuts. Tons of gourmet horse treat companies sell these, um, but they're crazy expensive. They're like $12 for like six or something. And we're horse people. We can't afford that kind of stuff. A lot of people have recreated their own recipes. So I decided to take one of those recipes from YouTube. And the next DIY I am testing are these DIY sugar cubes. A lot of videos are out there on how to make sugar cubes. And sugar cubes are kind of an iconic horse treat. So I decided to test out one of the recipes as well and see if it actually worked and the sugar cubes like held their form. But without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to start off by making the pony donuts, but um, the recipe calls for um, powdered sugar and water to make the glaze, but instead of powdered sugar, I'm going to be using um, some molasses instead because I feel like that's a better alternative to the sugar, I don't know. So I have all of my ingredients gathered. I have some sprinkles for toppings. I have the peanut butter, the flour, the molasses, and the banana, which I know is not right. And also the oats. I am going to preheat my oven to 320, which is kind of weird, but okay. So I'm adding in my oats, flour, and my peanut butter. And finally, the banana. So this is kind of what the mixture is looking like. It was so hard to like blend everything together, but I'm just gonna see how it all works and put them on this cookie sheet, so yeah. So I like shaped the first donut and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, yeah, what they look like and I'm just gonna pop them in the oven now. All right, so the donuts just came out of the oven. This is what they look like. I'm gonna put the frosting on them. The only thing I'm worried about is they're like pretty crumbly, uh, but I don't think the horses will care. I'll just see what they look like after I put the frosting on. So I just finished the pony donut dupe. Um, and I'm not sure if I do these again. It was kind of like a lot of work for just three donuts because that's all the batter made. It was really hard to like frost them with the molasses, but I mean, they don't look totally awful. They're not that bad. I don't know. I just don't know if these would be worth like messing up your entire kitchen. Hey. All right, so we are on to the final DIY, which is uh, DIY sugar cubes. And as I said earlier, they're like iconic horse treats. So I'm going to be testing out a recipe and seeing if they actually resemble real sugar cubes. So yeah, the recipe calls for one cup of sugar and three teaspoons of water. All 
I just completed the last DIY that I will be testing today um, and it was the sugar cubes. These I was actually pleasantly surprised by. I thought they were all just going to fall apart, um, but they didn't. Uh, they're not like the prettiest thing ever, but um, they work for what they're for. All I did was add some water to a cup of sugar and threw them in the oven for like 30 minutes and here they are. The sugar cubes, I give them a thumbs up. They definitely do work. I mean, they're not gorgeous looking, but they are functional. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up um, and leave a comment down below telling me which DIYs I should test next. So let me know which DIY you think worked better, the pony donuts or the sugar cubes. So. Yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You make it hard to let you go.